Today, we, we will be demonstrating a technique in organic chemistry lab called fractional distillation. Fractional distillation is used to separate out two organic liquids with a difference of 25 degrees or less in their boiling points. For our demonstration, we'll, we will be using equal mixtures of acetone and ethyl acetate. Now in the video, we will show you how to set up your fractional distillation apparatus step by step. During all organic experiments, make sure you're wearing goggles and gloves and make sure to keep all chemicals inside the hood. Now we will show you the first step to setting up your distillation. First, you have your distil distilling flask inside the mantle, which is on the jack. To add your chemicals, acetone, we add 25 milliliters of acetone into the distilling flask. You can use a funnel to ensure that you don't you don't spill any chemicals. In fractional distillation, packing material is added to the fractioning column to ensure a more pure distillate. Here we have a fractional column without any packing material. Today we will be using ceramic saddles and adding them to the fractioning column. After the fractioning column is filled with packing material, connect it to the round bottom flask placed in the mantle. All glassware should be clipped together throughout the experiment to ensure no glass breakage. The fractioning column should also be clamped to the round, bo to the round bottom flask in the mantle. Throughout this experiment, you notice your solution is running low in the distillation flask. Lower the jack to separate the distillation flask from the heating source, avoiding a possible explosion. This is the next piece of flask where it should be used in the fractional distillation apparatus setup. It attaches to the top of the fractional um, cylinder, and you always clamp down your glassware to ensure you don't have a breakage of glass. In the top, you now place your thermometer, but through a rubber stopper. Please note the um, placement of a thermometer tip so you can note your temperature throughout the experiment as your distillate approach as your distillate is distilled. Next, we're going to connect the condenser to the to the apparatus. But first, we're going to connect two hoses. The first hose is water leaving the condenser. The first hose is water entering the condenser from the sink. Here we have our complete apparatus. Starting at the bottom, I'm going to slowly go up from the top, and you may imitate this if you so feel the need. Make sure your thermometer, tip of your thermometer is right at the tip of where the condenser meets to get the correct temperature when taking temperatures during your fractional distillation. We have your condensers. Water should be flowing out through this tube be flowing into this tube, we hear you have your spout, which will pour out your distillate into your graduated yeah. cylinder. Make sure for your water flowing out, it is taped down to the sink. Now, turn on your water. The speed of your water flowing out to the tube should be that of a slow pace, not too fast but a gradual steady pace to ensure that you get the best distillation possible. Now, turn on your mantle and you're ready to begin heating your distillation. The condensation ring is hard to show on video, but I'll describe it to you. You will be able to notice moving it slowly up. Starting here, it's slowly moving up. When it reaches about right here is the point which you want to lower it. As the condensation ring goes through the condenser, it condenses, into a liquid and is dropped into the graduate cylinder. This is your display. Throughout the experiment, there are certain points you want to take GCMF samples to find out how pretty your product is through further sampling. Here is a GCMF file. A good place to take 
A GC mass sample is your first drop of distillate. To take a drop of distillate, merely put it under the condenser, and you want to take about two or three drops. Here you can see some of our sample distillate. Just a reminder, the important things to keep in consideration during this experiment are the volume and the temperature of the distillate. As you reach a certain volume in your um, graduated cylinder, you should take note of the temperature that it was at at that point. We hope this video helps. Just keep rolling. We hope this video helps you in your factual distillations and through all your current. How are we supposed to say? I don't know. Just make it up. It doesn't have to be dead. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Elise. Goodbye, everyone. Stay in school and don't do drugs.